All right, dude, we are live. What's up, guys? This is Dem Keys. Um, yeah, there was a bit of a delay. Um, when I went, like, I, I had, I had the start stream, start streaming, start stream. I had the start streaming button. And then it didn't, the stream didn't show up on my stream manager page. So I was confused for a second, but I, I refreshed the page and it's fine now. Okay. That being said, what's up guys? Uh, this is Dem Keys. Oh, dude. I wish I would have been able to stream. Um, I don't know. I, I haven't streamed for, what, a week, I think? I think. My last stream was, what, uh, what was the date on it? 23rd. It's been more than a week, not, not just a week. It's been, it's been more, well, I mean, slightly, slightly more than a week. So yeah, let's, let's just, let's just call it a week. Um, ah, uh, dude, I wish I could have, I wish I could have streamed, but yeah, I've, I've been, I've been making progress. Uh, we're going to carry on with that progress as well. Um, I've been working more on my VTuber app. I have, uh, implemented more byte based protocols. Well, one more byte based protocol that, um, is hopefully going to help with some performance optimization in my app. And, uh, I've also started learning about, oh, so this is interesting. Okay. So, so we, hold on real quick. What we have going on today is today we're going to be attending the community meetup event, which has already started. Um, let me just create a new instance of this world. Uh, so we are attending the community meetup event, which is an event organized by Squid, where world creators show off worlds that they've been working on. They might be old worlds, they might be new worlds, or they might be work in progress worlds that haven't been uh, released yet. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go check out the worlds. And dude, I'm excited for VR Chat as well. Uh, VR Chat recently, um, they've they've been they, they've had a, a bunch of like new things going on that i'm excited about but one of one of the things that i'm really happy about is creator economy you can now support your favorite content creators in vr chat from within vr chat itself so vr chat has its own native currency that you can you can buy and you can use that to subscribe to to people um, right now, subscribing, I believe, I believe subscribing is the only way to support right now, but I, I, I think they're going to be adding more and more, uh, methods in the future. So maybe they might make, maybe they might allow like, uh, I don't know, tipping some kind of like one-off payment, uh, purchasing stuff and things, things like that. This is great. The reason I'm excited for this is because... Dude, for the longest time, people have been making content in VR chat for free. When I say content, I don't mean people streaming. I mean the the actual content creators, like the, the people who build the content in VR chat. So world creators, avatar creators, uh, tool creators, uh, tool creators, well, uh, they aren't necessarily creating content in VRChat, but they're, de they're creating tools that help people create content that help people like this. This is a perfect example, by the way, uh, VRC billiards community edition. Uh, this is a project that was started by fairly sad Panda. And there's, there's a community behind this as well. Um, This is one example of a plugin or a tool, I guess you can say. This is a billiards table that you'll find in a lot of, a lot of uh, hangout worlds. Then you have tools like, uh, like, Audio Link. That's another. That's another very famous plugin right now. A very famous tool. Um, what else? What else? There's, there's a bunch. There's a bunch. There's. Uh, 
what was it called? LTCGI. That's a more recent one that's been that's been popping off. There's a lot more. There's dude, it's crazy. It's crazy. So like for the longest time, th these people had just been making this content for free. Um, people were making worlds for free. People were making avatars for free. And in return, they don't usually get anything. Um, at most, they can they can plug their social media and they can mention their uh, other forms of, I don't know, so, so like Ko-Fi or um, what is it? What is it? Patreon or anything else, maybe, maybe like PayPal or something. They can mention uh, payment methods, ways that people can support them, but like they, those, those methods, they are, let's say they have extra steps. In, in some cases, you would, al you would also need to create an account. And so things become a little tedious to do and a little bit complicated. But now the people are able to do it from within VR chat itself. And I'm super happy about that because, dude, this is gonna, this is this is really gonna take things to the next level. Because now that people are actually able to earn, I mean, people were able to earn before as well, but like with indirect methods. Now with more direct methods, since people are able to earn with more direct methods, you're, you're gonna be seeing a lot more amazing stuff coming out. Of course, you're also gonna see stuff that's behind a paywall, but you're gonna you're gonna be seeing a lot more open stuff as well not not everyone is gonna put their shit behind behind a paywall i don't i don't fault people for putting their shit behind a paywall it's it's your thing you created it you know it's your choice um but i do appreciate the people that don't put their stuff behind a paywall but like they um how do i how do i put this they work off of how do, I, how do I even put this? I appreciate the people who make the content and put it out and make it open for everyone. And then they give people ways to support them if people choose to do so. That being said, this is a VRC Billiards Community Edition. This project was started by fairly fairly sad panda but there are a, a bunch of other people involved in it as well from what i understand um there's also people who uh, who were involved in making different types of ui for it um now what are we looking at here thanks for doing some testing this is by the way they've probably jumped to the next world so we're gonna have to rush with this no i don't think okay no they haven't jumped okay right so um, this is this is the 1.6 release of VRC Billiards Billiards Community Edition. Uh, that's the pool table you'll see in all those hangout worlds and party worlds. We've we've been on 1.5.1 for nearly two years now, so it's time for a big update. Uh, this version has an overhauled physics system that folks who hang out at pool parlor might recognize better collisions the cue ball can jump oh wow okay that's interesting the cue ball can jump otherwise we've made some changes to effects audio and desktop ui and a bunch of under the hood changes that means this is a spicy new billiards table that needs a bunch of testing all right so this is their discord um it's great they've got a community built around this as well Give me, give me a second. Okay. Um, the, there's also in small text there. Oh, that's interesting. We need testers. I'm only one developer. Okay. Because like I, as far as I knew, uh, so this was, this is fairly sad pandas project. Um, but like, I knew that there were a couple of other people involved as well, but like I guess Fairly Sad Panda is uh, is now like the main, the sole developer over here. Um, but yeah, uh, if you guys can help with testing, definitely help out. I think, I mean, uh, on on my end, the most that I can do is test on desktop, 
Um, they did mention that they have some changes for desktop. Oh, that's for desktop UI. Okay. I wonder how uh, how I would make the cue ball jump um, on desktop. Give me a second. I need to hydrate. I just realized that I've been talking and I did not hydrate for a while before starting the stream. So today's stream is going to be a little bit long. So I don't want to, you know, start having talking problems way too early on. All right. So, um, all right. What are we looking at here? So we select, okay. No teams, no timer. Uh, yes, for the guidelines and game modes. Just, what was nine ball? I forgot what, what the nine ball mode was. Cause like, I know about the eight ball mode. Uh, switch to four ball menu. What is four ball? Switch to traditional. American eight ball, Japanese four ball. That's interesting. I've never heard of the four ball mode. Okay, anyways, we can start. So, where is the stick? There it is. Okay. Uh, there was a way. Oh, okay. Start playing as E. I like that they have that thing in the bottom left. I just noticed that. I like that they have that in the bottom left. Oh, tilt. What is tilt? Oh, that's how you do. Okay. Oh my God. This is holy shit, dude. Okay, so that's how you do it. That's how you make the cue ball jump. Cause like I know how to do it like IRL and I, I know I know like what exactly you have to do to make that happen. And I could imagine people in VR being able to do it, but then because desktop has like a top down thing going on, so I wasn't sure. Oh, spin. Dude, this is crazy. You can actually make the ball spin as well. Man, this is insane. This is this is like this is crazy. I don't know. I I, I don't know when these features were introduced. If if these have been introduced like recently or uh in like previous versions or something. Well, I mean it did mention that they've been on that same version for like nearly two years, and they did also mention there's a bunch of new features here. So I mean this is exciting, dude. This is exciting, like the spin thing and the tilt thing. Zoom, can zoom only be done with the mouse wheel or? No, well, I, I can't see the buttons there. No, okay, so that's not the button, definitely. Let me just go closer to my screen and try to see what those keys are on the... Oh shit, you... I, I don't think you guys can see it. So where my uh, where my social media text is, that's where the the zoom option is mentioned. Now, give give me a second. Let me just. Okay, so it's arrow keys. Or. Oh, wait, wait a second. Okay, it's not arrow keys. Hold on. It is not arrow keys. Yeah, it's it's not arrow keys. Um Okay, let's let's do the thing. Let's do the thing. So, let's let's do like an extreme tilt and see how much I can make a jump. My God, this thing has this thing has come a long way. Holy shit! Shout out to Fairly Sad Panda. This is crazy. Oh wow, the ball just jumped out. 
Wait, wh wh what happens if the ball jumps out? Okay, we yeah, we are restarting. Okay. Okay. There you go. There's there's the jump. Let's try to let's try to jump over. Let's try to jump over these balls. Okay, so let's do crazy tilt thing. Okay. And boom. Oh shit, that Oh, that spun the ball. Okay, yeah, I, I had the I had the spin thing. Man, this is crazy. What? Hold on, dude. I'm getting so excited. I'm not even interested in billiards that much anymore. I used to play it a lot as a teen, but like I'm not interested in billiards anymore. But like this is looking at these these improvements to this system, it's exciting, dude. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. What do you look at that? Look <sighs> Look at that spin, dude. Look at look at the physics. My god, dude. There's so much that you can do with this now. This is crazy. Like, hold on. See this? That is insane. Though, okay, hold on. Um it seems a little off because like if i spin the ball in this direction like if i hit it from this side from the right side shouldn't it spin and go to the left or or do i have that wrong i maybe i have the physics wrong i haven't done this in a long time maybe maybe i have the physics wrong let's try here let's see where that goes my god this is so exciting dude this is crazy people can now now people can legit do trick shots in in vrc billiards or they can do trick shots in billiards in vrc man this is crazy oh shit i forgot about the tilt oh wait a second has this been happening because i had the tilt on Oh, wait, wait a minute. Okay, so let's try now. Um. Okay. You know what, they need to introduce a new mode where you're only doing trick shots. Because I feel like a lot of people are now going to start having fun with this. Like, they need to introduce a new mode that's not playing games. Like, that that's not any sort of game mode. It's just like a practice mode. Actually, I wonder, I wonder if they already have something like that. Oh, I just noticed that hitting control, it switches the sticks. I'm not sure if that's changing which player I'm playing for or Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure. Okay. So, let's bring the ball here. Okay, let's move the ball a little bit more forward. And now let's try to spin it. I think it's I think it's doing I think it's doing what it's supposed to do. Or do I need to have a bit of a tilt in order to make it roll in a certain direction? 
I'm gonna need to experiment with this. Uh, I just saw something. Um, as we brought up in the last world, the method we use to make our event announcements work is broken in the current update to VR chat. As a workaround, we'll be trying to use group notifications to organize everyone. If this does not work well, we may have to ping this channel. Thank you for thank you all for being for bearing with us. Okay. All right, cool. So um, this world, I I don't think the world has been released. I'm not sure because like I'm not seeing like a I'm not seeing a public instance option. But uh, go check out Fairly Sad Panda. Uh, she's made a bunch of uh, other pretty awesome, fun worlds. She made a couple of game worlds as well uh, a while back. Uh, I especially enjoyed this one. Uh, you are the detective. This was fun. Uh, I don't know if if she ever completed the world, but like she did work on like a, a certain portion of it. Like there there was like a a playable a playable portion of it. Um, and there's a a couple of other worlds as well. Uh, so yeah, go go uh, check out her stuff, and. Look out for the 1.6 version to to release. Look out for the release of the 1.6 version of this table if you are interested. Oh, what is what is what is going on here? Why am I getting these? What is going on here? Okay, okay. Take it easy. I'm getting I'm getting frame freezes for some reason. Okay, either way, we are going to jump to the next world, which is Museum of AI Art. Oh, dude, let's go check this out. Uh, a museum of AI art displays um, artwork created with the help of artificial intelligence technologies. Uh, map 0 0.2. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's go check this out. And the world is public as well. I'd imagine there's going to be like mix, mixed reactions to this because, you know, uh, there's a lot of people who are who are against AI art. Um, I'm in favor of it. I like the fact that there is technology out there now that is helping people uh, generate artwork. And it's not just generation, by the way. There's there's a lot more that's that's that you're able to do. Like um, people are able to edit images by and well they're able to edit images and add their own stuff um they are able to of course generate images as well uh they are also able to provide input in other methods so a, a more recent thing that i've been seeing happening is people uh, there's there's this one person that i follow on twitter who who sculpts things in in uh some app in in on the ps5 i think it's called dream or dreams or something like that this person is able to sculpt uh in in uh that app and then they're able to they're able to pass that pass that um they're able to pass whatever the camera is able to see into an uh ai model that then generates a much better a much better looking art piece let's say I, I don't know if i even explained it very well oh another very good example uh which is it, it's entirely 2d based was where this person was showing uh how they, they were able to set up a workflow where they could draw something on they could draw like a simpler image or they could draw they could draw a image and then give the model that image and also give the model a prompt for what they're expecting the model to, to generate. And then based on the image and the prompt, the model is going to then generate the artwork. 
So you can, if you're not that good at, at drawing, for example, if you're not that good at, well, drawing, uh, and let's say you want to draw a dinosaur and you draw your own, like, you know, silly looking dinosaur that looks like a five-year-old drew it. Um, you can then, because you have that shape of the dinosaur, you can then give a prompt to the model and it'll generate the, the artwork for you taking that drawing into account so you can do you can do some interesting things with that like for example you could draw um you could draw a human body in a certain pose but like not add details to it just draw the human body in a certain pose and you can then give the model a prompt for how you want that that entire artwork to be filled in so the the you could say, I don't know, generate Iron Man or something like that. And then it'll generate Iron Man in that specific pose because you have you've given it that input, right? So it's it's crazy, dude. Like it's exciting to me. So um this person uh is on Gumroad. Uh they go by Texture Forge, I think. So we're gonna go check out the stuff that they Oh shit, hold hold up. I hope it's all safe for work. Either way, okay, we'll 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 find out. But you see, you see why I'm so excited for this. Like, look at this, look at this artwork, dude. It's this is crazy. And the reason I uh, community events respawn, respawn. That was quick. That was that was quick. All right, so they are they are jumping to another world, I guess. I think I'm not sure. So the the reason I I was saying that you know people are gonna have like people are probably gonna have mixed opinions here is um, because well, I mean, there's a lot to get into there. So some people they are just against the tech. And some people are currently using the theft excuse where they're like, oh, this this model was trained on on stolen artwork, stolen data. So basically any artwork that this model creates is art theft. You're stealing from the creators. Like that's their excuse, at least right now. But like the, the truth is like a lot of people are just really scared. They're scared that and, and to a certain extent, mad as well. The, the, a lot of people are really mad that... Because, like, people people spent years trying to, you know, improve their skills in, in art and, and trying to get to where they have gotten to be able to, let's say, make something like this, right? A lot of people have had to practice artwork for, for years in order to be able to do stuff like this. And then they see they see this computer program come along and just generate that same kind of artwork in like seconds. So people people are afraid that they're gonna get replaced. People are also mad that shit, this thing is able to do this thing that I spent so long trying to develop the skills for. And at the moment, at least th this is my opinion, that at the moment people are using theft as as an excuse for hating it. But like pretty soon that, that excuse is not going to make sense because eventually you're going to have models that are trained on ethically sourced data, like properly sourced data. You already, you, you already have models. It's just that the more famous models that you're seeing um they were initially trained on on data that was just scraped off the internet it wasn't necessarily licensed and there's i mean there's even debate about hey is would it be considered stealing if the if the model was trained on on artwork without the artist's consent would that be considered seeing because like then you have to go into understanding how the model is creating 
how the model is using this data from all of these different artworks in order to create its own artwork. Because once you understand how the model is working, how the model is doing its thing, only then can you make a decision. Uh, then can you make a judgment about, hey, would this be considered stealing? Um, unfortunately, a lot of people don't really know how it works. I mean, the, 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 the data is out there. It's not like it's, it's secret data. Um, the data is out there on how many of these models are working. But like what I'm saying is a lot of people don't understand it. What they, their, their thinking is as simple as, hey, this model was trained on a bunch of, a bunch of artwork that was made by artists who did not know that this model was going to be trained on that artwork. And so if this model is now able to generate artwork, it is considered stealing. Like that's their, that's their thought process. Anyways, dude, I got into a whole like, dude, this is a huge debate right now uh, about AI art. It's it's a huge debate going on. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, dude, this is this is nice. I like I like that. I like that they made this world. I'm pretty sure there's going to be mixed reactions to it. But I like that they made this world. If anyone wants to come check out this world, I wish they gave more information. Is there like a panel somewhere where they mentioned how they made it? Or which model they used. Because it just mentions this. It doesn't mention which model it is. Uh, they probably have their own reasons for uh, not mentioning the model, I guess. Uh, if if they haven't mentioned it, then I guess they have their own reasons. But like, yeah, I, I don't know if it's been mentioned. Okay, so... Oh, there's an ad playing. So I'm going to take this chance to hydrate. Uh, welcome, welcome back. By the way, at some point in time, I do want to try and create my own model for this. I mean, obviously, obviously, it's not going to be as good as, as you know, uh, I don't know, uh, mid journey or stable diffusion. But like, that's not the idea. That's not why I'm doing it. If I wanted to create, like actually create artwork, then I would directly use one of those systems. But like for me, the idea is I wanna I wanna understand how these how these models are working. At the very least, I wanna I wanna try and understand how stable diffusion works. And fortunately, stable diffusion is completely open source. So you have access to the code, uh, you have access to the white paper for it as well. Um, you have access to, I think you have access to the data set. I'm not sure, but you have access to a bunch of things. In fact, I believe even Hugging Face has incorporated, they've added support for the stable diffusion model. Yeah, I think they have not just one. There's a couple of them because there's a couple of components that, that, uh, come into play when you're generating the artwork. Um, they have like a lot of them listed on hugging face and they have also added support for it or let's say they've how do i say this they've integrated it no they, they've added support for it in uh in their uh hugging face transformers library or maybe it was in the diffusers library i don't remember they added support for it in one of their libraries so so you can like more easily use the models um where was i going with this Oh yeah, so I wanna I wanna understand how these models are created or how these models work. What are the various components involved? And I wanna like try and recreate it. Even if the model that I create is gonna be really bad because I haven't trained it on nearly as big a data set as stable diffusion, even if that's the case, I wanna build 
the model myself so I can understand how the model is working. Um, to be fair, I could just read the paper, the, the white paper, and I would understand. But like for me, it's it's more like, you know, learn by doing. I'll, I'll go into the theory as well, but like I still need to practice it or try and build it myself to get a better understanding. Okay, okay, that being said, this world is called Museum of AI Art and it is made by this person, uh, to awesomer. I don't, I don't know how that's meant to be pronounced, but yeah, that's their, that's their name. Okay. Okay. So let's jump to the next world, which is work in progress. Thad Storm Capsule, made by Thad Gaither. I feel like I've seen this name before. Where have I seen this name before? I've seen, I've seen this name before. Yeah, I think I've been, I, I think we've been to this world. Recursive Garden, that's interesting. Meet Yourself in Thad Re Recursive Garden. Okay. Then there's a gallery. There's a recursive room. Magic mirrors. Crispy button. I think maybe we visited one of their private worlds previously. Um, this is a work in progress world, so we're going to jump to that. I'm super curious about what people's... Uh, reactions were so give me a second because like somebody does stream this uh meet up oh is the music still going let me just make sure the music is still going All right, we are good. When did this change? I I don't remember setting this option where it automatically enters me into the world. Um, and I noticed this today as well. I started up VRC and it just put me into my world directly. Usually I would have to hit the go button or whatever, whatever that button is called, enter. Uh, let me check the settings because like there was a setting to stop that from happening. Uh, give me a second. Oh damn dude. This looks nice. This looks comfy. Yo, this looks nice. Hold on. So, uh, the scale of this world is uh, a little small. So, we're going to become smaller just so we can sort of fit in with the world. Where was the scaling option? Man, I love that we have a scaling option, man. Uh... Is the scaling option here? I can't I can't read it. Oh, what is this? Whoa. Mandel box. That's interesting. Just hmm. unlocked something. Oh, and there's something more coming. Hold up. Wait, I just unlocked something. So do I have like an inventory or something? Let me just hit random keys and see if I can like open an inventory up. Oh, no, that's the input box. Uh, I don't think so. Okay. Cool. Yeah, let's go back to trying to scale the avatar down. Where was the scaling option? Is it here? I don't think it's here. 
Wait, what's under mic? Oh, that's convenient. That is, that is convenient. Where's the scaling option, dude? How do I scale the avatar down? Expressions? I don't think... No, I have to set stuff up on this avatar for that. Oh, avatar height. Is that it? Oh, there it is. Okay, I think that's it. I think, I think that's it. I like that there's this marker here. I think that's like the either default height or, or the height of the avatar itself. Is this is this good enough? I think this is good enough, right? Oh, this is nice. You can learn uh, hiragana and katakana. Oh wait, is this some kind of is this some kind of manga? Oh. Where did that thing go? But yeah, dude. This is this is nice. Okay, there's something more I can gather. Extra pillows unlocked. Check your tablet. Okay, let's check the tablet. Let's let's try to pick that up. Okay. Uh, pick up, interact. Environment, so and so, so and so. Oh, this is interesting. So you can like unlock stuff here, and also get rid of. So, dude, this is an interesting concept. So like, the longer you stay here, the more things you unlock. I kind of, I kind of like that. It it gives, it gives people an incentive to to, well, stay here. Which, as it is, I I think people would just be staying here as well. Like you know, even if, like just just as it is, this is a very comfy environment to be in. So like, I can see somebody just hanging out here. All right. So this is something that I haven't enabled. What is this? Glow sticks. Where, where is it? And I think I unlocked something else as well. Some kind of pillow, I think. Oh, I think it's more pillows. Okay, hold up. Let's disable this. Oh, yeah. Dude, this is exciting. I, I like this concept. It's a simple concept, right? But it's, it's, it's kind of nice. Oh, what is this? Front, left, right. Oh, mirrors. Okay. No, I kind of like the outside view. Oh, what is this? A billiards table in here? Oh my, oh my god, dude. That's crazy. And there's still so much more that you can unlock. That's, that's... Oh, wow. Oh yeah, okay, I, I unlocked this thing first. So they have the, the ray marching shader. Man, that's crazy. Oh, uh, just a second. I had opened up this stream to see something and then kind of just got lost. Okay. Oh, let's 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 turn this thing off so it's not killing my frames. Uh ray marching shaders tend to be wow. kind of heavy. Dude, I like this concept. I like this concept. Okay. Environment. Dude, this is customizable as well. I like that. Wait a second. Is is the I hope the audio is not coming through. Oh fuck, the audio is coming through. Hold on. Is is the world sounds up? I, I haven't had my Oh my god. 
I don't know if there's been copyright music playing. Fuck's sake. Oh, dude. I should have checked that. That's that's my fault. I mean, either way. Either way, it's nice. It's great. Um, the world sounds are great, but like, I, I hope there was no... Hold on. Uh, is it, is it going to be in my recent list? Let's just go back to that museum. Or, oh, this world. Before we leave, this world is called... Um, oh, shit. The world hasn't been released yet. But this is a cool world, dude. I, I'm, I'm guessing they're going to be releasing it at some point. So just be on the lookout for it. The world is called Thad, Thad Storm Capsule. And it's made by Thad Gaither. That is this person. Oh, shit. That's why I remember the name. That guy there. There you go. Okay. That, now, now I remember. I have seen this person's profile before. We were in a world that they had made. That was... Uh, it had a very nice environment. It was like a house kind of thing. Was it this? I don't think it was this. It, it didn't have like a... It wasn't just a room. There was like it was like a whole house that we were uh, visiting. Either way, uh, yeah, check check this person out. Now let's see what's going on with the list. Um, I don't know if. Okay, oh, dude, I visited this world recently. I'm, I'm super excited. Let's go to this world. But before that, I want to go into this world and just confirm something. By the way, speaking of music, uh, shout out to Machine Supremacy. Um, go check them out. Pretty awesome band, pretty awesome music. Uh, a lot of their music is video game inspired music. Uh, for example, what's playing right now, you can hear it has like a very video game kind of kind of feel to it. Uh, very, I don't know what kind of game would this be? Like very uh, Metroidvania kind of thing. Okay, um, was it Metroidvania or, or Metroid? Metroid Mania. No, Metroidvania, I think it was. Either way, Metroid. It's that kind of thing. Right, now, let me just... Okay, fortunately, I'm not hearing any music. Okay, I think we are safe. I think, I think we are safe. So... We are now going to jump to this incredible world. Dude, I visited this world, uh, I think, a week back. I was I was in VR chat. I visited this world. Dude, they've done a great job with this world. Uh, the world is pretty big, by the way. Um, I guess let's preload the world before and, and just, like, roam around here. I can also change my thing back oh can I just reset the the height is that the reset height option I like that they have a reset option okay okay the world is downloading. So I'm guessing they have updated it since then. Uh, dude, it's incredible. There's So like you're in a spaceship and you can load up different environments and it shows as if you are actually moving through that landscape or, or that environment, be it in space or be it on land or be it underwater as well. They have all sorts of different kinds of environments. Um, they've built a, a good a good 
a good percentage of them. I believe some of them were yet to be built and they also had some very few, not too many um, that were behind a paywall. So you had to be a supporter at the time. I think it was just Patreon support, but now I think they have they might have also added um, now that, you know, VRC VRC paid subscriptions is a thing. They might have also added um, the the ability to unlock those tiers through a paid subscription. Right, so we're going to view this and then we're going to create our own instance and jump in there. All right, give it, give it a second. It's going to take a bit to load, but dude, it's, it's worth the wait. It is, dude, this is an amazing world. Even, even like the transitions, I, I, I think I remember the transitions also being really nice. All of the stuff that's been set up, it's, it's really well done. Like, look at this, look at this. This is crazy. Uh, so they mentioned some stuff here that they had um that was yet to be but pay with vrc credits oh shit they added the yeah cool cool okay so previously I'd, I'd only seen this the patreon thing so you had the 10 dollar tier and the 15 dollar tier uh and now they also have this uh pay with vrc credits and get quick access to all premium scenes in exoplanet journey so they have premium scenes in this list uh, fortunately, you have quite a few, um, quite a few free scenes as well, as you can see here. Uh, these are the ones that are premium. The ones that are premium, they say premium. And then there's also ones that haven't been built yet, I believe. I think so. Yeah, stuff like this, for example. Planned for December 2024. Because, like, I mean, I'd imagine this kind of stuff, it, 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 takes, it takes time. To build. so okay this is here's something else i really liked okay so this is an entire like just imagine we're in in a spaceship um we can spawn the menu here and this is like if you want to just get like a front view you can do it from here otherwise you can do it from here for, for a nice side view or even from here i did not i don't think i noticed the last time i was here i don't think i noticed the uh, the side view no the the top view i don't think i noticed the top view at all um okay i don't need to turn any of this off wait what is this teleport teleport where what is this is this the top oh dude was this there the last time i don't think this was there the last time well I mean, when I was here. Oh, this is crazy. So, like, let's say you find... Wait, can we... Oh, okay, we can turn on stuff here as well. There's a light stone. 
then you can enable dark mode for I don't need dark mode here. Um, then there's a video screen and pillows. Man, they've done an amazing job here. Okay, hold up, hold up. We're gonna we're gonna go back there. Wait, can we spawn the menu here? Is it possible to spawn the menu here? Is this it? Uh, video mode not active. Oh, that's for a video. Okay. How do I spawn the menu? What is this? Um, oh, it's a mirror. Okay. How do you spawn the menu from here? Uh... Okay, I'm not sure. Oh, I like that you can remove this thing. Okay, so here's what we can do. Uh, we can explore from the from here, and then when we we want to jump into, when we find like something that we really like, which to be honest, I liked a lot of these. These are these are amazing. I didn't even finish. There there were quite a few to go through, so I didn't I didn't finish the whole thing. Um. Okay, so we can start with something simple. Look at that transition, dude. Look at this. How crazy is this? So like it, it brings you into this and then it just gradually, it just slowly carries on with its, its whole animation. And it is amazing. The work that they have done here is crazy. Like, legit, dude. It is crazy. So, okay, here we are in space, right? Wait, let's try jumping into... Where's that ship thing? Here. Oh, look at that. Okay, okay, let's go... Let's go back. Oh, I didn't... I didn't notice this the last time. What is this? Oh, does this... Does this show where we are? I think... Oh... Are we this dot? I think that's I think that's Yeah, yeah, I think I think that's where we are. That kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Like based on the angle that we are looking at this from. I think I think so. Okay. Anyways, let's go closer into the planet. Look at this shit, dude. This is crazy. This is insane. The quality over here is crazy. This just blew my mind, dude. And the fact that it's it's running fairly well on my system, it's just, that's just, wow. This is crazy, dude. Okay, let's try another place. Oh. Let's try jumping back into the ship. Wait, what, what is what is this thing? Early access for... Oh, okay, it's for patrons. Okay. What is this? What's that lock option? Man, how cool is it? This is crazy, dude. I don't know. I, I like it. I, I really liked everything that was going on in this world. Um, we can try moving to a different, uh, a different planet, I guess. Yeah, a different, a different planet, right? Yeah, yeah, a different, a different planet. Uh, there's also like I, I think there's different times of the day, or I think it's different seasons. So here you have glaciers. Um, then you have Terminator Zone. Oh, so it's... Okay, I'm not going to call it Seasons. I don't know what it is, but it's like different different types of terrain, let's say. And here we have a storm as well. So I think we'll see lightning. There it is. Okay, let's try a different planet. Let's try something. Well, okay, let's go to the next, the very next one. Oh, what is that? 
I'm curious about that. But yeah, this is crazy, dude. Uh, let's see if going into this thing shows us something. So we are we are currently orbiting this. I haven't spent long enough in one specific thing to see how how far we are able to get in terms of traveling. Um, th then again, I'm not sure if we are moving around the planet or if the planet is is spinning like on its own orbit. Oh, damn, dude. Wait. What just happened? Oh, I fell down. <laughs> okay. Alright, cool. I like that they have this thing set up. So, we are here. That's that's our dot. Is the other planet showing up somewhere here? I don't, I don't think it is. Or the other whatever it was. I don't know if it was a planet or... I don't know, like a moon or something. Oh, I like that you can you can switch to this whenever you want. Okay, so let's go closer into into the planet. Look at the Oh. No, we are not in the planet. We are on one of like this We are on that thing that we were seeing, the tiny thing, the what I was thinking is the moon. What name is given here? Ice moon. It's one of the moons. Okay. Or, well, it is... It's the moon. And now I think we are on the planet. Yeah, now I think we are on, on this planet. Man, look at this. This is crazy. This is insane. They've, they've done an amazing job. Uh, let's teleport. Dude, this is... Wow. Dude. Okay, so if anyone... If anyone wants to visit this world... Um, this world is called... Ex Exoplanet Journey. And it is made by... Nico. That is this person. Yeah. Uh, this is... Uh, this is the world creator. So, let's see if the group has jumped. Yes, the group has jumped. So, we are going to be jumping as well. This is... I'm not sure what world this is. But let's, let's jump, let's jump, let's jump into it. Oh, this is a world by Shadow River. Let's let's go check it out. They make they make cool stuff. I've seen I've seen some of their stuff in the past. I believe recently we Oh shit. Did I not create my own instance? No, I think I, I think I created my own instance. But yeah, uh, Shadow Shadow River has uh has made a bunch of cool stuff. I've seen their stuff in the past. They've done a bunch of shader work as well. Some pretty cool shader work. Uh, I think at one point in time we had visited a world that had something to do with music. Or that actually, no, it had a lot to do with music. I don't remember if it had something to do with VCAT or some other organization. Uh, or, well, with VCAT or some other event. You have joined an invite instance. Okay, yeah, so this is our own instance. Uh, but yeah, um, at, we visited... Wait, let me just confirm i think it was i think it was shadow river but like there was there was a lot of like cool uh vfx like very customizable vfx there let me just open why is it not letting me click okay um where is it oh my god wait no this is not there wait where's their worlds is this their world? No, this is not their world's list, is it? It only shows one uploaded world. But we've seen a bunch of worlds by them. 
I'm not sure. I mean, to be fair, most of the time that I've seen their stuff, it's been either during during Lakuza's World Hub or um or during the community meetup. So like it it's very much possible that a bunch of the stuff that we were seeing was all they were all private worlds. Right, so what are we looking at here? These eggs are reminding me of... Oh, is this an avatar? I think it's an avatar. Yeah. These eggs are reminding me of Easter. So I'm wondering if this is like something Easter related. Oh, cool. Okay, I'm the appropriate size now. Nice. Should I like step through this and will something happen? I like the I like the aesthetic here, by the way. Like I like I like what's whatever I'm seeing here. It's very, very cutesy. I wonder if if this is a if if these eggs are part of the skybox or if I'm actually able to get to them. Uh this is probably gonna take some time. Just a second. Let me see if they're still here. Oh, you know what else is reminding me of? Fucking Teletubbies, man. I used to watch that show a lot. I loved that show. As a kid, I was a huge fan of it. I don't I don't even know if a lot of people know about that show now. But like it was a thing back when I was a kid. It was a thing. Oh, are we about are we about to fall off the edge of the world? Cause okay, now I'm seeing that I think I think it's well okay, it I guess it's not part of the skybox. Is it? So we've definitely hit hit the edge of the world. It's not part of the skybox, which is good to know. And it's kinda interesting. But let's jump down. Has the group jumped? No, they are still there. Uh, the next world is a world by Kitten G. So we're going to wait until the group has jumped. Actually, I'm curious. Let me open up the thing and the thing and make sure I'm not missing out on anything. All right, so I'm seeing people within this area itself and people are using the oh, what is what is this? mirror that's off let's leave that off okay oh this might give me some more frames 
Oh, there we go. Nice. Much better. As nice as the grass looks, um, it's killing my frames. So, better to turn it off. Give me, give me a second. Okay. So. I'm just waiting to see when everyone else is going to jump. Give me a second. Let me hydrate. I missed my last hydration break. I'm just waiting for, for everyone to jump. Um, so I'll just keep checking this list. Okay, um... Oh, yeah, let me switch back. When did this respawn message come? Um... Oh, it's a few seconds ago. Okay, so everyone is jumping. Great. Um... Alright, uh, let's switch back and soon everyone is going to be jumping. <clears throat> so next we are moving to a world by Kitten G, I think. I think that's it. Let me just read that again. Yeah, it's Kitten G. So... We're going to wait. Let this thing refresh. Okay, what does that what does that say? Oh shit, messed it. What does it say? <laughs> I like that they're giving out these these custom custom notification. I like that there's this notifications thing now as well. Because like they're using uh, because the mechanism that they use to uh, let people know it seems to be broken or something. So instead they're using the group notification thing, and because I'm part of this group, so I'm getting I'm having the not notification pop up. But it's nice to see that we have this feature. I I'd imagine it's super super useful, especially for like events and stuff, which you know this is an event. Um. Still waiting for people to jump. Still waiting. We're just going to keep waiting. It's all good. Oh, let me just confirm that the music is still going. Nope, it paused at some point. All right, cool. So everyone has jumped. Great. 
So we are going to jump as well. Just right after I managed to play this. Okay, cool. Awesome. Nice. So everyone has jumped. And soon this thing is going to be updating. There it is. So we are going to a place called Spaceless. Uh, a place you will never remember. Alright, dude. Let's go check it out. Oh shit, some, some text was there, I but it, it went away very quickly. Oh, this is interesting. They have noise for, for, for this texture. Actually, I, I think there's noise everywhere. Even on the leaves. Oh. Dude, I like that. I like that. That's nice. You see you see this this fading thing going on here? I like this. But it, it also makes it hard to get close to the thing and see it closely. Cause you know, it just vanishes to so like let's just try yeah, I think I think I think it's all showing noise. Yeah, I think I think it's all showing noise. That's kinda interesting. It's wait, uh Okay, it's not in these blades, is it? No, it's not. I was wondering if they had like a a grain post-processing effect going on. I'm curious about what the what the sound is like. If they have like any ambient sounds or Okay, that sounds great. But I don't know if it's okay to play that. Now, how far away? Oh, another thing I like is this thing that's going on. You you notice this? How it's You see that? I kind of like I kind of like this. It creates like a sense of a sense of mystery. You know what I'm wondering? I'm wondering if if this stuff is being procedurally generated and in a way like that's kind of that's that's what's dude this is a, this is adding a really nice effect look at that tree there this is adding a really nice effect like ev ev everything slowly being illuminated i like that i also li i also like the the very grayscale thing just as i mentioned the grayscale it goes away look at that what are, what are the odds? Oh, what's going on here? Hold hold on a second. Things changed. Oh, things things changed. Why did that happen? Okay. That's interesting. So it, it gradually slows down. I'm not slowing down. It's it's the 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 world is the world is making me slow down and it's very gradual like it slowly slows down and then once if, if i keep pushing past a certain point it just bumps me back okay interesting i'm wondering if oh so i was like the, the person who's streaming 
the the VR chat meetup, the, the community meetup. I saw on their stream that when the entire group spawned in, a dev message popped up. But I didn't get that dev message, so I'm wondering if if I would only get that if the dev or well the, the creator of the world was in the world with me. Like I'm wondering if they had set something up like that. Oh my god. Hold on. How did they do that? That is really cool. Wait, is there is there does does VR chat give you like is there an event that you can uh that you can use? Hold on. VR chat on respawn. Let's look at that. Actually, I think there is. It's why am I surprised about this? I think I think there is, or maybe there was a worker because I've seen a couple of other people do a bunch of things. Um. Yeah, on respawn. Okay. Okay, that's interesting because, like, dude, this is crazy. This is probably the first time I've seen something like that happen, where. Because, like, I've seen other stuff like like changing the respawn point um but i haven't seen this look at that how how cool is that dude i don't know that's 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 kind of cool to me that's exciting to me um this world i haven't fully explored it so i'm i'm guessing there's some stuff in it that i haven't seen yet oh by the way uh vket is going on for anyone who's interested in checking out the, the worlds and exploring and and seeing if you want to buy anything dude i'm kind of interested in seeing how the creator economy is gonna be used if at all it's gonna be used by vcat wait desktop people press f3 um Okay, so I'm seeing this message. I'm I'm glad that I have this person's stream open because the the dev message is not popping up for me. I'm guessing the dev is the only one that's that's able to spawn it, or it only spawns when the dev is in the world. Or could it be because I'm humanoid, and that's why the message might be popping up somewhere else. No, I don't think, like, at this point in time, I don't think that's an issue. Oh, the, look, look at that. You, you can notice the speed going down gradually. Okay, let's respawn. All the way back. Wow, that was a much faster respawn. Okay, so let's try to go to the exact center of the world. So this is X, uh, Z. Okay. Roughly. Roughly. Oh, that's cool. You guys notice this, this thing changing as soon as I look up? There's like little things in this world that like I, I like I like what's going on. I, I don't know if there's more to it than what we have explored like I'm, I'm wondering if i'm just missing something because this has happened in the past 
where I visited a world and I was like, oh shit, dude, this is a cool concept. There's there's cool stuff going on here. But like, there was a puzzle in the world that you had to trigger. You you had to set that, you, you had to like unlock the puzzle by doing a few steps. And I had no idea that that was the case. I only found out after a friend of mine um, who had explored that world with me um they found well when they explored it with other friends of theirs those people found out that hey there's this this stuff that you can do and when you do these specific sets of actions or when you do this specific set of actions it'll trigger uh it'll trigger the puzzle and then you can like solve the the puzzle Okay, uh, are there any more worlds uh, in the list? I don't think there are any more. Um, by the way, this world hasn't been released yet, but I'll, I'll still give it a shout out. Because I think they plan on releasing it at some point. Hopefully, I don't know. Uh, I made to end save manager. I made to end save manager. What is to and save manager? Uh, okay, let's let's Google that. I created two and save manager for terrors of nowhere. Yeah, let me just let me look at their GitHub. I'm not sure what this is. What is two and save? Um, save tool and manager for VR chat world. Terrors of Nowhere. Okay, so this is a save tool specifically for that world. A simple tool that will keep track of your save codes. Uh, so you can play and recover your codes later if you forgot to make a backup. And saves your code history locally for later. This saves it locally... Oh, this is a tool that you run separately? Is that is that what's going on? Automatically scans your logs for oh they they were doing it through through the the logs. Okay. Alright, alright. So let's see. Dev message. Hold on. Dev message said something about jumping. Okay, so there's a lot of like messages like specifically from the dev. So I'm guessing it's it's more of a controlled environment in which they were in intending to showcase the world. So my usual method of, you know, exploring it by myself it's not gonna reveal too much i'm gonna have to watch the the vod if uh oh what does that say respawn and oh, that thing disappears so quick dude respawn i have something to tell you okay let's listen
Just a second. I'm trying to listen. The social. Okay. All right. So that is it for the community meetup. So here's what I'm going to do. Okay. Uh, I, I need to switch over to, uh, to doing Python stuff. We're going to be doing Python audio stuff. We're going to be doing audio stuff in Python. Um, but I'm going to, I'm going to stop this stream and then restart the stream. Once I'm done setting the whole thing up, just so I'm able to split the VODs and then upload the VODs separately. Um, but yeah, yeah, uh, that's it for the community meetup. Um, I'm going to be streaming coding next and learning coding. Well, not learning coding, but learning how to do audio programming. Um, I'm... I'm so, dude, I've been... Okay, hold up. I'm, I'm going to talk about this once I've set everything up. Uh, give me a couple of minutes. I'll set the whole thing up. And then I'll restart the stream. So, I'll be ending the stream right now. Just so I can set up that whole thing. Actually, I'm wondering if I should end the stream. Or if I should keep this thing running. As it is. And then... Create highlights... And just download those highlights. So that way I'm able to keep the VOD intact as it is. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Because I'm, I'm I, I need to upload the, this as like two separate VODs anyways. Um, I don't want the whole thing to be like in one. But like, should I... Okay, there's an ad playing, so I'm going to hydrate while the ad finishes. All right, welcome back. So, um, yeah, I'm still thinking, dude. Should I split up the Twitch VOD itself? Or should I... Um... Nah, you know what? No, it's it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a little bit of extra effort, but it's fine. I'll uh, cause like I mean, Twitch has the video editor thing, the video producer thing. It it lets you create highlights, and then you can. I believe you should be able to d download those highlights as well, so I can create the highlights. Um, and then download them and then delete them. It's just a couple of extra steps versus just downloading the VOD. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's not like I have to do this, you know, for every single VOD. Because, like, this is one of the few streams or well that i mean so far as it stands right now this is the only uh stream that i do where i have where i i start with vr chat and then i switch over to doing coding stuff uh as opposed to every other stream that i do throughout the week which is just coding usually either coding or studying or studying and coding So I, I usually don't end up like switching or having to switch categories. <sighs> yeah, yeah, it's fine. I'll uh, I'll keep this VOD going. But that's that's also going to mean that it's going to be a very long 
BRB screen because VRChat takes some time to close. Uh, what should I do? Okay, so let's transition. Now we are in BRB. Uh, I'm going to mute my mic and take a short break while VRChat closes. So I'll see you guys in a, in a couple of minutes. Actually, not just while VRChat closes, but um, I'm going to I'm going to take a short break and come back. And then in the meantime, VRChat is going to close and then I need to set up some of the other stuff. I need to open up my VTubing application. I need to open up VS Code, open up private browser window and set up the whole, you know, reading material and all of that stuff. So, yeah, I'll, I'll do all of that. Oh, and I should also not forget the Twitch title, the, the Twitch stream title, and tags. So I need to set that up as well. So yeah, uh, give me a couple of minutes. Uh, BRB.